Hello everybody, a very warm welcome to all the viewers of wisdomjobs.com. In this video, I am going to deal the relation between the half-life period of a radioactive element and its disintegration constant. So, uh, if time permits, we also go into the concept of average lifetime of a radioactive element or material. Now, before going to start this particular topic, I request you all to please do subscribe and share our videos because they are very useful in the uh, examination point of view and they are also useful for some of the competitive examinations like uh, SSC, CHSL and uh, RRB examinations. Okay, so with this note, let me start the topic. So the topic for today's video is relation between T half that is the half life period and the disintegration constant lambda. Okay, now we know in the last video. Uh, we have derived an expression for lambda, the disintegration constant. So, what was the expression for disintegration constant? Uh, it is uh, 2.303 divided by t into log of n naught upon n. And what are the different parameters involved in this equation? They are, uh, if you observe lambda, lambda is the disintegration constant or decay constant and t is the time taken for that particular decay and n naught is the initial value that is at t equal to 0 whatever the concentration or whatever the number of atoms of the particular radioactive element are present that is represented by n naught okay and coming to n after time t how much is the amount of radioactive element present that is in terms of number of atoms how many number of atoms of that particular radioactive element are present after a time t that is represented by n so uh, if you are uh, if you take these parameters into account consideration the equation is lambda equal to 2.303 upon t up into log of n naught by n now uh, if you take half life period so for one half life for one half life that is for t equals to t half what happens to n n is going to become n naught by 2 that is initially if the concentration or if the number of atoms of the radioactive element at t equal to 0 are n naught then after one half life period exactly the concentration or the number of atoms of the radioactive element is going to become half that's what is the definition of half life period is it not so uh, for one half life period the number of atoms will reduce by half so at t equals to t half n is equals to n naught by 2 now let us substitute this condition in this equation so lambda is equals to 2.303 by now t is going to become what t half so t half into log of now uh, what is n naught upon n n naught upon n would be n naught upon n is n by 2 is it not so just now we have taken n is equals to n by 2 for t equal to t half right so n is equals to n by 2 uh, of course n naught by 2 strictly speaking so n naught and n naught gets cancelled it is 2 so n naught upon n for half life period is going to become 2 so let us substitute that value here and what is log 2 base 10? It is 0 0.3010. So 2.303 into 0.301 divided by t half. Okay. Now, so obviously 2.303 into 0.301, if you take a calculator and do it, you are going to get its value as 0 0.693. So from this, what is lambda? Lambda is 0 0.693 upon t half. Okay, so this is the basic relation between the half-life period and the decay constant or disintegration constant of a radioactive element. Or uh, from this, also I can also write, write as uh, T half in terms of disintegration constant is 0 0.693 upon lambda. Okay, so if you know T half, you can get lambda by the first equation, and if you know lambda, then you can get the value of T half by the second equation. Okay, so in this way, I can easily calculate the value of half life period knowing lambda or calculating lambda knowing t half. Okay, now let me explain you what is meant by average life period. Now we know that every atom which is getting disintegrated might have some average lifetime. Okay, so the average lifetime of an atom, if you consider some time add up all the average lifetimes of the total atoms 
Now let me say in the in a particular sample of a radioactive element, how many uh, atoms are there and not atoms are there, right? So in the uh, in in these n not atoms and n not atoms, uh, let me say each atom has got some uh, lifetime, uh, some lifetime. Okay, so that as uh, the uh, the lifetime of all the n not atoms you add up. Then you are going to get the total uh, lifetime. So the total lifetime divided by the number of atoms will give you the average lifetime. So how how am I going to define the value value of average lifetime? Average lifetime is defined as the total sum of the average the total sum of the lifetimes of each atoms added up that divided by the number of atoms present in the radioactive element so that that we call it as your average lifetime okay so average lifetime is represented with the letter capital t okay now capital t or uh, in some textbooks he will be give, giving you it as simply tav okay so tav is equals to now it is simply 1 by lambda that is the disintegration constants inverse will give you the average lifetime okay so we know that and so this is a very very important relation you keep it in mind so we know that uh, uh, t half is given by 0.693 by lambda or from this what is uh, lambda lambda is 0.693 upon t half okay now uh, if you observe this uh, so if I substitute the value of lambda from this equation in the uh, this equation or let me name them so I will call it as 1 and I will call this as equation number 2 so from equation 2 if I substitute the value of lambda in equation 1 what do I get TAV is equals to 1 upon 0.693 by T half so if I go for some simplification here okay so if I go for some simplification what do I get uh, it is simply T half by 0.693 okay so 0.693 so it is almost equal to so TAV is almost equals to 1.44 into T half okay this is the relation between average lifetime and the half life period of a radioactive substance okay so based on these particular topics and uh, formulae we are going to work out uh, some more problems in the next video so please uh, don't go away stay tuned to our uh, channel uh, wisdomjobs.com because we are going to give you some important uh, concepts and problems also so the uh, in the next video we are going to work out some problems based on half life period and average time of a radioactive element and if you have got any uh, queries or doubts in these videos please do explain your doubts in the form of comments at the comment boxes provided at the bottom of the video so that we can interact with you more frequently and as and when we find time we can answer your queries thank you for watching these videos